Like, I usually think of what I'm going to do before I even go for the wave. The more I'm driven to try something specific and know that I'm doing it, the less my chances are to make it. <laughs> if I just look at a wave and kind of go like, all right, there's a barrel section, there's a snap section, there's this, like, there's a little lippy side to it over there, and like, it becomes responsive. And then the rest is whether the wave did what you were thinking, whether you did what you were thinking with the wave doing what you were thinking, or if the wave did something completely different and you did too. It's always interesting every time I think, like you were asking whether I think down the line to do something. When I do, it always turns out to like screw things up. I'm gonna go for a roundhouse and I'm like, turn it into a snap. And yeah. next thing I know, I kick out. Yeah, I'm like, ah. Exactly. Oh. I think that's, uh, I think where it becomes interesting is when you're surfing weird surf and that's what I've, I used to surf a lot of like just junky weird days and I never cared I'd just go and, and figure it out you know? yeah. yeah and uh, and I think with, with that kind of experience gives you the, the, the knowledge of what you're seeing and also it's almost it just becomes secondary you don't, you don't really think about it anymore so having the right board for the right day and all that that's gonna help you um, and then just reading the ocean. And I don't know, you, you can't give that to someone. I can't write a book about it. You just gotta sit there and look. And it's, that just comes from experience. And that's 